and welcome, my name is Ahiro and this is my Let's Play series of Hearts of Iron 4 where we are learning the game as Japan. And as you can see, we are expanded quite a lot and I just found out that there's some heavy fighting going on in Turkey. There's a lot of American soldiers here. Maybe we should go help out. I think we will send some troops over there. Let's get these guys over there. You lead your orders. Join this front line. Get an offensive line. Like this. And then we wanna probably have some planes if we can. Do we control any of these airports? We control Istanbul. So let's have some fighters join. Let's have some. some close air support and we might as well use that new feature so now we can deploy them right away to this combat zone and they'll just start fighting once they get there so nice so this feature is from the patch the 1.1 patch the red ball express and if you want to learn more about that patch I've made a video about it you can go and check it out anyway let's get on with the game we also oh, what is this we have exiled divisions. What are you doing there? Turkey, okay. That was quickly. Um, so I guess this plan isn't really necessary anymore. Oh, what happened there? Where did I get you from? I think I got you from there. Oops. Um, you join there. Uh, just go back to your original plans. Sorry. Select all, join. Why aren't you going to that? Do a whole divisions and then they should. Well, maybe they were just there already. We have more exiled division. Are oh, they still just exiled? And we have some German Reich is still fabricating. Still have problem with convoys. How long are we with the planning down here in the Pacific? Where are you? You're planning on the attacking Philippines. That's right. You are 15 days into planning, so still a while away. I think I'm gonna have to drink some coffee. Oh, we have some problems in Afghanistan still. How is it looking? So we have 40 out of 33, uh, which is a problem. How are we doing with the whole. get some more and I guess we also have to upgrade this naval base might as well so we won't have problems with that I want that to be top priority Uh, Nicaragua was attacked. They're really busy in the Middle East. Well, I guess we don't really need these planes anymore then. Let's just take them back. And get on with it. Peru joined the Axis. Dominican Republic joined the Axis. So how are we looking? The Axis controls most of Europe, most of Africa, most of uh, but at least most of North, North Eastern Asia, most of the Oceania, Allies control North America, and Axis are spreading uh, in South America. The rest is mostly, mostly neutral. Anyway, 
I just want to check out if so the problem is here I guess anyway once we get this harbor here it should it should help out on the problem I think let's check back on that later see if we have we have some more trained divisions um, where do we want you to join? Um, have you joined this? Oh, oh, you are not. Uh, you are a uh, garrison divisions. Well, you should join this one then. How do I assign you to the garrison? Like that? Oh, unable to transport, that's what you are complaining about. Still having convoy problems. And are we losing some naval bases or naval construction yards? No. Then why are we suddenly not producing anything on this one? Weird. Almost seems like we'd lost some factories. Maybe we got some from uh, Australia that we lost when we actually occupied them. We would get more if we treated them more harshly. Let's just go to some more harsh treatment. See if that will get us some more factories. Yeah, got us one more naval base and a couple more factories, so that's nice. And how much problems do we have with resistance? Not a lot actually. I guess it's helping a lot that... Um... Oh, we don't even have... I think I'm gonna add MPs to this. And that's another nice feature that's been added. Now you can see that we're adding some infantry equipment, we're adding some training time, some manpower. And you can see that we're actually adding 20... 2840 to our 71 divisions, 710. We also see that we will have plenty in storage even after this upgrade, so let's just do that. Is there anything else we want to add? Support artillery, maybe? Uh, we'll still have plenty and it'll make them much more uh, defensive. So let's just do that. It won't cost too much, too many man, men, so. Seems like we just finished a regiment here. Let's then join you guys. Let's just join the plan. We still have people in exile. Lots of people in exile. I think these are Italian. Let's see. There's some kind of uh, support troops that we. Oh, we have a lot of support troops here. Let's just add them all to the. <coughs> sorry, to the defense groups. Yeah, we have we have a lot of extra. That's kind of uh, a weird thing that when you get um, when people send your troops, they kind of just disappear weird places. Uh, so you kind of sometimes have to go around and and find them and add them to whatever group you want them in. I think I'm just gonna attack, add them all to this army and let them defend. But yeah. Whenever you get those, ooh, Tibet has, isn't that a new fla flag, or maybe I just didn't notice it before. Looks pretty. Venezuela joined the ally, or oh, allies, the faction, the Axis. There should, should be some war against, uh, or some fighting war here then. 
Still problems. Still need both steel and oil. Oh, we don't need oil. So let's just get some. Some of those convoys free, and some of those factories free. They should stabilize this whole convoy thing a little bit more. It's really annoying that it's going up and down so much. Southern China has problems. Oh. Uh, so much in infrastructure we need to build. So I'll get the ones in Afghanistan first. And how are we doing with these plans? 42 days. You are ready it seems. So, let's get you to go. Why can't you go? Um, okay, so we need some people in the Tasmanian Sea. Let's just get Subfleet 3, we need a commander for you. Actually, let's try this. Let's get you to do some convoy escort in the Tasmanian Sea. Get you out there, and then to assign the commander. This is a new, new thing that was added. Uh, let's just get the good Admiral. And yeah, he just got out there. So awesome. Does that mean that you can now initiate the plan? You already did. Very nice. So now we're gonna get Tasmania as well. <laughs> one unlock slot, so we might get one factory. And it doesn't seem like they're... Are we getting some expeditionary forces from Italy? 35 divisions, that's a lot. Done. And test mania as ours. And you just join this this attack. Oh, do we want you to plan something else maybe? On some of these smaller islands. So this is also Australia, so yeah, let's actually get you to plan that instead. Let's get you to Plan a naval invasion from there to uh, there, and then we're gonna assign you to that, and we're gonna take that naval combat. Oh, just singing some guys, it's nice. Uh, you guys also, Subfleet 3, you also take the Coral Sea and Solomon Sea. That way you'll cover both of those attacks. And I'm just gonna press the stop button so he doesn't automatically send that out without me seeing it. And we sunk five of those convoys, so that's nice. Um, need a lot of steel. And now we also need oil. We need a lot of convoys, that's what we need. And again, I haven't really seen any of them being destroyed. So where they all disappear to, I still have no idea. And now we're actually losing some naval bases as well. Or naval uh, dockyards. Well, we gotta get to them soon. Uh, we still haven't solved this problem out.
trying to get how this works. I guess we also have to increase the surrounding area here if we want that harbor to be the one. So I think this was the harbor I increased, so we just have to change these actually. So if this one hit upgrade then this should flow through there instead. Let's see if that helps. I'm still trying to understand the whole supply system. The fall of Gibraltar. Very nice. Gibraltar is of course the tiny little p part here. <laughs> and then of course the US is taking different parts of Spain, so... But anyway... Seems as the Spanish is taking care of it. I haven't had to help our allies very much. They've kind of been doing their own thing. So that's been nice. And it seems we have problems several places now. Uh, yeah, down here we have problems. How are you doing? Probably also increase it out here. I think I'm just gonna put these repairs down so we can get all of this infrastructure and stuff built. I think this was, yeah, we we're building this to have a better, better defense line against Soviet Union up here. How many factories do we actually have working? One, two, three, four, five times fifteen, so that's fifty, seventy-five, sixty-seven? Uh, eighty-seven, sorry. So, how are we looking? Ready? Ready, let's go. And we got decryption done. Is there anything? We are in 43 now, so we should actually start on this construction speed. Going for that first. And we do need to do something about our manpower now. So let's go to extensive conscription. It'll make training more, take longer, but we'll get way more soldiers. So now we have 2 million instead of barely 100,000, I think. Let's get some more industry. Let's do concentrate industry five. He's going. It's weird they're going so different routes there. But soon we will invade New Zealand, which will be nice. Come on, get there. And you are still preparing a little bit, are you? Are you just waiting? I guess they'll start as soon as they get there. And we can't get that far. I guess we could fly some. I send some carry us down here but I think we'll be I think we'll be fine. There's a lot of a lot of troops here. But if they, they can land it will be no problem. Are you gonna go as soon as you get there? So to see that. Um, so I'll take you. We're gonna go this way. You're just gonna basically take all of that territory. While the rest of you go up here, except for you, it just takes that. I well, should probably have made a, another invasion up here, so we don't didn't have to do, do this crossing here. Lost a couple of convoys. Ah, oh, 
yeah, and they did just automatically go. Well, he actually cannot just win on his own. Anyway, let's see what happens when we go up here. Yeah, they do have people in Wellington. I'm not sure if we'll be able to cross that. We all get there. And you just immediately attack, I guess. Let's see if we can get over there. Oh, they didn't have too many troops, so it seems like we'll be able and they have like no for some reason they had no organization. I guess it's because they just attacked us. Get over there, yes. Now we make a new front line. A new front line. A new offensive line. Add all of you, except for you, to that line. And then we set you on aggressive and execute. So aggressive will, uh, is another one of those expansion uh, things that were added in the new expansion. Basically, just means that they'll aggressively go uh, or execute the plan instead of. Balance, which was the old, old AI style. They also added a careful one where they won't attack heavily fortified positions and won't extend the uh, line too much. Which you can see, this is way faster than the old battle plan mode. Really, really nice. And you just join here as well. Oh, you? Why can't you? Oh. Interesting. I think this is a change too. I didn't notice that happening before. It's definitely awesome that they don't go in there unless there's room for them. That's really cool. I think that's new as well, although I didn't read about it in the patch notes. Here we have the next really interesting choice in the production line, and that's the end of production here. We can choose between streamlined line, where we just have maximum production efficiency growth, or we can get the flexible line, oh, well, we're not pausing, uh, where instead of getting more efficiency growth, so this isn't more efficiency, this is more efficiency growth, so this is efficiency cap, this is growth of that efficiency, whereas this is efficiency retention. So basically, if you want to upgrade a bunch of stuff, for example, if we wanted to go and upgrade to these 41 versions of our tanks, it would probably be a good idea to get this one. Whereas if we just wanted to add a bunch of lines because we're constantly getting new new industry, then streamlined lines are good. I think we're going to go for this one because, well, it is probably a good idea to upgrade our tanks soon. Uh, you guys, just go there. And you guys just go there. Actually, you just join that. And finish that up. And when we finish this attack, uh, I'll end this video because we have gone over that time. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did consider hitting the like button and subscribing, hope to see you in my next video and until then, have a good day.